So we're in Fresno, California on East Vassar. Um, I forget the exact address, but anyway, so the real estate agent wanted to take a look at this toilet and see, uh, well, both toilets, and uh, see if there's any leaking. We flushed it a few times and we don't see anything down here. Typically you'll see, it roll, see the water rolling out uh, from the base of the bowl out onto the floor. So there's no water down here. Uh, additionally, we've looked at the tank bolts uh, back in there and um, there's no dripping in there either. So not sure what we're looking for, but everything's dry. Um, looking at the tile right here, you can see a little bit of discoloration right there. Uh, kind of seeping out toward the seam, but it is dry. So maybe at one point there was something going on or any kind of liquids um, that includes urine, unfortunately. Uh, you know, if this gets wet and it stays there, um, it could be, it could have been water, it could have been some kind of a seal, something, but it's dry. So there's nothing going on with this toilet. We'll go and check the other one and take another video. Not so that, we are done. Okay, so Sterling Fresno, California on East Vassar, and um, so this one we flushed a couple times, this toilet here, and uh, there is nothing visible. Like I said uh, in the previous video of the other toilet, um, you'll see it when you flush it. If there's a problem with the wax ring seal, you're going to see water creep out around the base of the bowl, and uh, you know, there's a little bit of cracking in the um, caulking, but no water rolling out and you would be able to tell right away. I don't see any discoloration on the grout lines all the way around the toilet and uh, I see a little bit of something in the back, not sure what it is, but uh, either dirt built up or urine built up around the back that never got cleaned, it's stained a little bit, but everything's dry including the supply line, the shut off valve, nothing's dripping. Um, same thing in here, you can see where the uh, let me see if I get a good picture of that. Right in there. So that's where the uh, foam gasket seals the tank to the bowl and the bolts. So nothing's leaking from the tank bolts and nothing's leaking from the seal. So we flushed it a few times and we don't see anything. Um, anyway, so they look good to, good to me. And uh, outside of that, we'll go out and take a look at the gas line, get a picture or a video of that. And um, and we'll get back to you this afternoon. Okay, so last video, um, the real estate agent wanted to take a look at this gas meter. Uh, apparently pg and has been out and said that there's a leak uh, going into the home. There's no uh, correction notice here or anything from pg and &E, so I can only assume that this big black arrow right here uh, was drawn out there to indicate where they believe the gas leak is. So, uh, as you can see, it's hard piped in. And then down below, you've got existing piping. This piping down here is older than me, that's for sure. Um, the fitting is pretty old. Uh, to get this apart, the whole meter needs to get disassembled, so the gas would need to get shut off here. All of that piping gets broken loose. The meter would need to get dropped out of place. And then uh, once this union is broken loose, all of this needs to get disassembled. Unfortunately, there's nothing in here to break it loose down there. So these two fittings normally you put a union in that looks just like that, so you can get it back apart. They didn't do that, and I'm not even sure how they got this in here. Um, but the piping looks like it goes into the home horizontally and also vertically. I'm not sure where that goes. Uh, that's just a bad place for iron pipe, galvanized piping, black piping, anything to go into the looks like concrete and into the, into the soil but uh, so with that in mind we're going to assume that's the problem right there and uh, we can confirm that if you can get a hold of pg and &E and and confirm that uh, that is the indication right there the black arrow um, so we had a price back to you this afternoon formal proposal and take a look at it and uh, let us know how you feel about that outside of that i think that's all we're supposed to look at out here so we are done